the crew worldwide From Kali to Twitter Real hardcore fans Boxing ass niggas Consistency cops Police the views We'll pull up receipts for any debates you choose Shout outs to Clan Arky for the dope production Ring gang stay with the best discussions yes. Ring gang Yeah, yeah, yo, what's good, yo? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where as always, a shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpion, the New England representative, and as always, I got my man with me, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do, LB, lot of Del Boss, Shadow Work the God, the GOAT artist, Soul Wars creator, RingGangRadio.com, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Always, you know, Ring Gang's always in the motherfucking house. And um, I also got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. What up, what up? It's your boy King P, Bodega P. Bodega's in the building, boxing, let's get it. There we go, the Bodega, you know, the neighborhood Bodega man, King P, motherfuckers. So, um, so yeah, you know, we had about, you know, we had um, an interesting week of boxing last weekend. You know, we have the card that, you know, we all thought was gonna be complete trash that turned out to be something very controversial. We'll get into that a little later. And then we have the other, you know, the other two cards. One pretty much went the way we expected. The other one was, a, you know, was, was fairly entertaining to watch. And that one would be the Devin Haney card that was live on the zone, you know, um, you know, and uh, I mean, I was looking forward to, and originally, you know, you know, I was planning on being there, but you know, some things came up, and uh, I was not able to be in the. I was not able to be in the vicinity, you know. But you know, but my man Pete was there, you know, at least in the for the weighing, getting the pictures. So salute to him, you know, getting the weighing pictures and whatnot. Y'all and, check that out, ringgangradio.com. Yep. Yes, sir. Gallery section on the site. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, and um, yeah. So, and of course, you know, one of the one of the fights that I wanted, you know, the Daniel Ramon, uh, Ramon, uh, what am I saying? Ramon. There we go. Fucking, uh, I don't know what the fuck. Is. I mean, that's just the damn wings talking, I guess. <laughs> I can't pronounce it correctly. Uh, spicy ass wings. Um, unfortunately, the fight that I wanted to see was him on it. You know, he had a shoulder injury, so you know he had to pull out and whatnot. Pause. And um, so yeah, you know, we basically got the three three main fights. Uh, the first one of them was Michael Hunter versus Sergey uh, Kuzman. Um, LB, what did you think about that fight, bro? Yawn. Um, it was it was pretty decent. It. Uh, I mean, it was it was a decent fight. It, it started out good, and it seemed like it was gonna go to a higher level, but then it kind of just stayed in second gear. Um, Michael Hunter, I know a lot of people like to seem to like his style, but he's just a little too skittish for me. Like, in the reason why, and I think I, I, I might have mentioned this at a different, at a different point. Um, his style, he fights so eerily like his father, uh, the late Michael the Bounty Hunter, Mike the Bounty Hunter, I should say. His father. That's why. I, that's why I'm just thinking. Like, it doesn't bore me, but it's just like it's because I used to watch. Because he used to be a staple on the Tuesday night fights on USA. USA, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, going way back. You know, because his father was a hell of a spoiler in his day. You know, so yeah, I was too busy watching a better spoiler. I mean, better <laughs> boxer and, 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 and Chris Bird on those uh, US, USA Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> and you know Roy Jones and you know James Tony, those guys, you know. <laughs> well, definitely those two weren't really spoilers. They were world class, you know. <laughs> you know Michael Bowen. I mean, I, I mean he did beat a couple of former heavyweight champions. He, he beat, you know. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean that, that's all fine and dandy. That's cool, but well, we talking about his son right now. Yeah, his yeah, son kind of his son bored is like, me a little bit. Yeah, because his son. <sighs> We're thinking about Michael, his father. His father was a little bit more offensive. Michael Hunter, although has the pop to do it, I think, I mean, I think, yeah, he, like he stayed in second gear a little bit too long. Yeah, like, like he's kind of sloppy with it. Like, I don't know, like, yeah. even even the conditioning for both fighters, I'm like, damn, like, heavyweights then kind of fell off. Like, 
Well, Michael, uh, the funny thing is, Michael uh, is like, he, he's like 200, he's like, he's normal heavyweight. So he's like, he's like 220 something pounds. Yeah, but these niggas don't even look like they train, though. I mean, t- you're talking about heavyweights. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm not. I'm not saying you gotta look like Ken Norton and 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 Anthony Joshua. You know that's that's the on the extreme side. But can can niggas look like some Tim Witherspoon, Michael Dokes, like <laughs> yeah, Ray, Ray, Ray Mercer, Mercer, Ray like, Mercer. You know, uh, yeah. in between? <laughs> well, Ray Mercer. I mean, well, Ray Mercer was used to be a pretty cut yeah. dude, and then he. You know, he kind of fell off. Oh, well, no, I, I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking prime Ray Mercer. Yeah, yeah, the, prime, uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Prime Ray Mercer. <laughs> you know, at least he looked in shape. Like all, all these guys I'm talking about looked in shape. Even Prime Shannon Briggs looked in shape. Like all, all these guys, but we got these oh, yeah, guys yeah, in their yeah. prime. Yeah, but they're I, looking like bouncers. <laughs> I don't know. I, I saw Michael Hunter at at the weigh-ins on. Uh, um, on Friday, I, I'm sorry, on Thursday, I don't think he looked like sloppy, sloppy, but no, he could, I mean, I mean, he looked like what Kanaki and Ariola would look like if, if they really trained. Yeah, because the thing with it, because I mean, remember, Michael Hunter was a cruiserweight and he looked a lot leaner back then. So, I, I mean, when he, I mean, most likely he just, ate his ass up to heavyweight. Like, yeah, and, <laughs> I don't think he really, like, I mean, there's no no strength coach, no, con- yeah. like, no. It, I'm I'm just saying, but anyways, I mean, we we know it's not a damn glamour sport. It's it's not a look contest. Yeah, and, and, but, and, and I mean, but he does have this. He does have the skill, you know, outside of his physique. He does have some skill. He, you know, he, he, he has, do, he, and he, do, he, has, just, he gotta apply it better to me, man. He, like he got hit way too damn much. Yeah, he yeah. has he has he has skill, but I can understand why people would say, oh, like like he he was a little boring. The thing is, like. He's, he's, he tried to coast at times, and he's one of those guys that, like, I can tell, like, when he coasts, he doesn't, like, he looks, he doesn't look smooth when he coasts. Like, he needs to put right. it in second gear. Right. Because he gets yeah, too so skittish. Like, all this fucking moving around, like, nigga, like, you already got the speed advantage. Like, three-foot rule, motherfucker. Like, just be around them close and, and, and work the jab and, and work your punches, like. Like all that running and extra movement, like you could put that into your offense. That's how I'm looking at it. Like mm-hmm. he could have put out a better, a better case making performance. For all I'm saying, like, like Maybe. if I was to give him a one through ten, he was like a seven point five, like a seven. But I felt like he had the tools to make it an eight or a nine. Yeah, man, knockout. I mean, because he did knock the dude down, and it was a nice knockout, and all. But yeah, yeah, like he was rocking the dude. Like he was. I thought it, he was gonna stop him. He was getting hurt from dude like that. Yeah, and uh, Kuzma was landing on him, but he, he, he was just sh- he shook him off. Like, like there was nothing. I was like, okay, like dude, I mean, this shit is sad. But yeah, just I, I think yeah. I mean, the thing with Kuzma, was, like, he wasn't following up, man. It just he would land that one single shot. Like he did a a bad job of cutting off the ring. Yeah, yeah. He, he, did, he, did, he didn't did even. He didn't he didn't really execute when he was like really like he would land like one shot and not really follow through with it like follow yeah, up every time but the thing is it's like even then he was still landing that one shot almost too consistently like mm-hmm. there was times where it's like michael hunter is going away with it and then damn kuzman catches his ass i'm like shit like if this guy was a a, a bigger puncher like hunter's in trouble Right. I mean, we see it happen. I mean, Usyk, I mean, the fight, there's no fight with Usyk. I mean, Usyk, that's what pretty much happened. And Usyk pretty much started teeing off and nearly killed him in, the, in that in that fight. You know, so, I mean, he's not, he, I mean, he's not, he, it wasn't, he didn't learn a lesson. You know, well, I don't think he really learned a lesson from that. Yeah, it don't look like he learned a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> Finish these guys, man. Like, that. that's what I'm saying. It's like people was moving around and dancing and shit and boxing, but you know, if you you supposed to be breaking people down when you outbox them. That, that, well, that's why I look at it like it's just not just outboxing somebody. Like you gotta break them down because he was landing the body shots and everything. But right, yeah, every nothing was done in a consistent like a break you down fashion yeah, because yeah. The, the movement and retreating allows guys to recover. Right, it's not like he's making them miss and frustrating them on some Chris Bird shit where. They're mentally worn out, and then you know you start picking up the pace, and you getting guys out of there. So yeah. all this, you know, 
you know, and, and this is Chris Bird, a smaller punter, smaller person. So if he's able to do that, then what, you know, Michael Hunter, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just saying, you know, because I, I hate to see when people, you know, give these spoilers or these other, you know, these boxing guys all these props, but then I remember back in the day, motherfuckers used to be, oh, damn, Chris Bird fighting, oh, oh, oh smacking the back fist, ah, oh, oh, the running, da, 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 da. I'm like, but hold on, but he gave out more action fights than these niggas y'all hyping up now. <laughs> so that that's my whole thing, like, you can punch, you can move, like, put all that shit together, goddamn. Yeah. I, I like the fact that he called out Povetkin, and he's gonna definitely have to be on point for that. Yeah, I mean, that fight, from what I understand, is, you know, Eddie Hearn's trying to make that for the Ruiz Joshua 2 card, which will be on they point. Yeah. That, 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 that needs a good, uh, a good solid heavyweight fight under that. Exactly. Stop putting all these goddamn middleweights and junior this and junior lightweight that. When y'all have heavyweight main events, like, every heavyweight main event need to have another heavyweight fight on there. Like, real shit. <laughs> yeah, real shit, you know, and, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, and of course that would be that would make that card even hell of a lot more better, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. He better he better kill, kill he better kill with all that dancing it and put some punishment on niggas. Yeah, exactly. Because so, Povetkin, if Povetkin catch your ass sleeping like that and in and out and not knowing what you want to do, he gonna hit you with one of them hooks and have you milly rocking and shit like David Price. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Hunter gotta just be Hunter. Really, just gotta clean up his game, like that ring generalship. Yeah. He punches hard enough to get guys respect, hurt them, and drop them. Like, damn, like you, you should be having performances where cats is like, I don't know, like you might give Wilder a run. You know, I didn't feel that from that performance. Yeah, I mean, feel that you know the way fights are now. All it takes is one Deontay Wilder right hand, and he's out of there. Or, or, or one Pavekin hook or right hand, like. Yeah. He didn't put on the performance where I, where I feel confident he'll be provoking clean. No. Especially against a guy like Kuzman, who has not looked very good in the past against lesser opponents. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You know, you you supposed to put on star making performances when you get these. This wasn't a showcase fight, but it could have been. Right. That's, yeah. that's all I really got to say on it. Like, you know, I'm not super impressed. I mean, he wasn't bad. He wasn't garbage. It wasn't a horrible fight. It, it was a decent fight, but I felt like the damn, the women's boxing kind of just overtook the weekend to, you know, this last weekend. Like, except for the Fury card, the women's boxing kind of just took over these niggas' cards. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of the women's fight, I mean, we had Amanda Serrano, uh, going for featherweight title against Heather Hardy. That was a hell of a scrap. Damn know? right. It was that was a scrap. And, and, no matter and, how garbage you thought the overall card was, that was still the fucking fight of the weekend. Like my nigga P said. <laughs> or fight of the card, not the weekend. Fight of the card. Yeah, the fight of the card. Yeah, the fight of the weekend. You, you not no one's fight could have overtaken the fight of the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anything was fight of the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Just the fuckery was the fight of the weekend. Yeah, yeah, the, fuck, yeah. the fuckery Fuck overshadowed weekend. everything else. Yeah, you know, but Heather already has like they, you know, they went at it for ten rounds, man. It was, it was, it was damn good, you know. Serrano though, was like I said, it's just the better fighter, and like you know, had uh, Hardy was bleeding from her mouth or something like that. If I'm just trying to remember correctly, you know, the, they were stumping in that fight, it, was, it made me Hell wish. Yeah. Like, it was it, like, damn, I wish there was three minutes instead of two. Yeah, I was gonna say, if, if it was three minutes. Hardy would have been out of there in the first round. Yeah, yep. yeah. So God yeah. bless two minute rounds. <laughs> <laughs> so we, look, the thing about it, if we would have got a first round knockout, because remember, I was telling you, I was like, man, because remember, P was like, man, Serrano could hit. And I'm like, yeah, but Hardy's tough. So yeah. I felt like we kind of got both of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like both of that was proven in the first round. Like, yeah, one person could hit, the other person tough as fuck, because, wow. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, like I said, I mean, Harley, Harley, she never stopped trying, though, but like I said, she was just outclassed, you know, by Serena. Serena was just a better fighter, period, point blank, <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, it was a very entertaining 10 rounds. 
I mean, he got off. He got some work in. Yeah. He, he got some shots up. I ain't gonna say you know. Serrano just washed her and beat her ass like it was nothing. Nah. She hung in there. She was doing good body work. Was landing some good lead shots too. But it just she didn't hit hard enough to make it to make any of those shots a difference. So that's the only thing. Right. No, yeah, she's she's tough, but she can't she's not really a puncher at all. So right. she wasn't so if she was gonna bang with her, that that was not the way to go. But she 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 did to her credit, she did slow it down, she did adjust a little bit and, and got in some shots and boxed nicely at times, but Toronto just overwhelmed her for the most part. It, yeah. it, it, the skill level was was too much. Yeah, you know, exactly. Skill and the physical physicality. Yeah, yeah you were, you, too. I, if it was just a skill thing, then I think the fight would have been closer. But it was skill, talent, athleticism. <laughs> right, exactly. All, all the way that Toronto has in spades. You know. Yeah, like it's almost like a, it's almost like when Chris Algieri fight people. Like, not a lot of people outskill Chris Algieri. They usually have to outskill him and out talent him. That's why niggas like Pacquiao and, and Spence could just run over him. But guys like Amir Khan and, and Provodnikov, they struggle with his ass. Exactly. <laughs> they, they, they got other tangibles that he lacked, but skill, nah. He's, he's a more refined boxer than both of them. Right. I, I don't know. I, I feel like. I feel like with Heather Hardy, I, I, I don't know why, but I'm like, like she said she does dabble in MMA, so she should know how to deal with that inside something style. So, but for some reason, she she couldn't she couldn't do anything with that. Like, well, so Serena too. Is, I mean, Serena too is also in MMA as well. I mean, they both do it. Yes, no, I, I do know, but like you, would, I, I would, but I can tell that like Serena uses like some of the things that she does. For like like in in MMA in boxing, whereas like Heather Hardy could use some of those skills that she uses like to adjust to certain opponents in MMA in boxing, but she like hasn't learned how to how to how to convert that. I don't know. I just think Serrano was just was just too overwhelming of an opponent. Like right, Hardy was was barely able to adjust with what she did. Like that's the thing. Is like sometimes like we underestimate great offense everybody loves to go and praise defense and oh this nigga slick remember motherfuckers the hype of michael hunter yeah but when it comes to offense we all just kind of be like well you know they should be kind of able to deal with it for a little better like the way serrano serrano was looking like a prime trinidad mixed with uh, uh juan estrada in there <laughs> <laughs> like a southpaw version, like everything was compact, clean, sharp, accurate punches, double, triple jabs, pressure in her, cutting off the ring. Like she was doing everything perfect. Like that's a lot to fucking deal with. Her and offense was her defense. Had a athleticism and, and 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 none of the physicality to deal with that shit either. You just you just a light hitting, skilled, tough person. Yeah, pretty much. You know, and, uh, but hey, like I said, I mean, she, I mean, Heather Hardy never stopped trying, which is the important part, I mean, and, you know, yeah. she, I mean, she worked that whole 100K that she made on a payday, the fight she, fight yeah. worth more than that, like, they need to, you know, start getting, for these, for these type of performances, you know, they should match, you know, get, get that, uh, a bonus structure, some the bonus, bonus or something, you know, or, or just a higher person general, yep, yeah, and both, both Heather Hardy and Amanda Serrano have been many of the few, women, uh, um, two of the many women that have talked about wanting uh, female boxers to get higher paid in. They yeah, deserve it. That type of fight, they deserve it. Yeah, I mean, Great. Cause it, it, it trips me out when I'm hearing Heather Hardy talk about, you know, this kid that she could finally get a bed because she had to sit on her couch or whatever. I'm just like, how? How's the, it's like, it's like I mean, how I mean, that's nuts nice to me that you went on a 50k payday just so you can actually buy a bed. I mean, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, I part of me as a New Yorker, as a fellow New Yorker, kind of understands that, but part of me also thinks she's fucking because of what she's used to living. Her, she probably wants to live like her because. 
she fucking she is the part in, in Brooklyn. Like, the, they're both from Brooklyn, but they're from two different parts of Brooklyn. Fucking um, Heather Hardy is from Garrison Beach, and anybody that's from New York City and that knows Brooklyn knows Garrison Beach is very kind of upscaleish. Italians, Irish, like she was the west side of this. town. <laughs> <laughs> you know beat. how it is, man. Yeah. I mean, we we all probably bored on the east side, but you want to grow up, and once you grow up, you want to kind of get on the west side somehow. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe I I kind of see what he said. I I could understand that, but I, I could also then, understand but... living beyond your means too. Yeah, you know. Yep. It's like I mean, if you can't buy, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you can't buy a bed for yourself, like a decent bed for yourself, you know, then it's just. I, like, I couldn't be raising no kid and they sleeping in the bed and I'm on the couch. Yeah, that. yeah no, yeah, that's unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> little nigga, you on the couch, motherfucker? Fuck out of here! We we'll yeah. make a, a newspaper for it or some shit. <laughs> Put you on the bottom dresser, nigga, and pillow. <laughs> So yeah, that's what exactly what we need. You know, women like there shouldn't, there shouldn't be any disparity in the, in the pay for women. Like women should get if they if they put on the performance like they've been doing this year, pay them. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, de- definitely. Yeah. Fucking facts. Like pay, pay, pay these women they fucking money, bro. Like real, real shit. Like they held that they be holding down these slow weekends, man. <laughs> like right. facts. Real shit. Like it. It kind of started from last year, and it kind of just win beast mode this year as far as women's boxing so right. that's always good to see um one thing i like to say though as far as the hardy fighting serrano mm. when it come down to it when you facing somebody of such a greater skill you have to build your foundation of boxing to such a level where you practice and you're able to Land, you're able to throw and land, knock out, fight changing punches when you need them. Right. Like, like you have to really like with the technique, power, everything. Whether you're a light hitter or not, you got to be able to land meaningful power shots that could bail you out or could change the fight. You know, when you around, hurt the opponent, something in order to turn fights around where you're overwhelmed like this because Hardy did land some punches. She like she did land some punches, but none nothing Serrano couldn't handle. Now what if Hardy had the technique or the power where or the timing where she could have land one of those punches that really kind of fucked Serrano up. That's the only thing she was really missing because, you know, the opportunities were there. She landed. It just it just wasn't enough. She was just outgunned. So, you know, there's no such thing as no lucky punches because if she was able to land those same type of punches and they had a greater effect, we wouldn't be like, oh, damn. I don't know about the lucky punch thing. I mean, we did a lucky punch was the cause of the loss of the fuckery this past weekend, in my opinion. You know. Oh, we, oh, we! I know what you're talking about. We, we gonna fucking get into that. Yeah, we'll definitely. Yeah, because yeah, when, when you, when you bullshit and you cruise, and you just say, you know, you, you fight a level of opponent and you just try to get rounds, you open the door for fuckery. Yes, lots of it, and it was swung way the fuck open. <laughs> so yeah, that that's the only thing else I really gotta say with 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 yeah. that fight. You know, with, yeah. with Hardy Serrano. Good performance, you know, just in over her head, but she still held it down. She... Yeah, and that's all we asked for, just effort, man. Yeah. And then we had the main event. We had Devin Haney, you know, going against Czar Abdullayev. You know, this time the fight was for an interim WBC lightweight title. Why, I don't know why it had to be an interim, I don't know. You know, but all I know is that, you know, it better lead to something significant. Instead of a nigga, you know, walking around operating a damn interim title, you know, this ain't the, you know, this ain't no Robert Guerrero shit. We want like, you know. Yeah, we don't respect that shit. No, you ain't taking, you ain't playing Lomachenko for that. Yeah. 
you know. But Haney, though, I mean, he, I mean, pretty much in this fight, I mean, he, he keeps showing that. I mean, that dude is, you know, is the truth. Might be the truth in terms of talent. Like he's a know. truth problem. Everything, man. Yeah, and, and it seems like now his man strength is coming in because before, like, one of the few negatives about him. But well, sometimes he was too cute, too defensive, and yeah, you he know, was too fucking flighty. Like yeah. he was doing that Michael Hunter shit, but he has better technique than Michael Hunter, so it didn't look as bad. But he was doing that skittish shit too. But yeah. you notice when you when you throw that shit away and you just walk the guys down that you could walk down, you, you have better fights when you get them out of here. Right, like you know, just like his previous fight against Moran. I mean, pretty much he walked them down and then he. he basically he blessed them out of existence with one right hand yeah what the fuck you running from these guys for not from these level guys and even then you you still just gotta use lateral movement you know adapt the new laura approach to you know move just enough to to get your shots off and and that's what haney did like he he looked great man like to me he showed he was ready for the for the next step up in competition, but it might just be that step up might be Lomachenko, the biggest step up. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, with Abdullah, I mean, I mean, Abdullah seemed like he was just outgunned. Like he didn't, I mean, like he he tried to do something, but he just mm-hmm. he just wasn't fast enough. <laughs> nah, this mean? mother this, this motherfucker looked like he was looking for a way out after the first round. Like he he, he knew he knew he was he yeah. was outgunned. He, he knew he had nothing for him. So I feel like he was looking for a way out. It looked like him. I mean, well, Haney gave him a while because, I mean, Haney ended up breaking his orbital bone with a right hand, you know. And that's but it what... seemed like his spirit was already taken away in that first round. Like, you see how hard he was getting pummeled. Yeah. And it's like, even to the end, like, her spirit was still there. Like, you couldn't tell her, like, Serrano is better than her. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? But with this shit, it's like, you kind of just do right away. Yeah, pretty much. And then you know, Abdullah like once he saw, once he suffered the or broken orbital, it was she was wrapped. Like he went back to the corner at the end of the round. That was done. So I mean, so yeah, I mean, dominating for like I said, Haney yeah. is looking like every bit of the top prospect that he is now. And no, like, this, this this kid is the good. This kid really has it all. Like I, this like this, this fight really just convinced me like that he is the real deal. Like, I mean, I knew he was good before, but, like, just, like, just how he handles himself, like, he's looking like he can be, like, top tier. And this like, is an undefeated fighter he he's, made, he's only know, he's, fall back. He's, a, he's only, like, one thing I noticed, He's a, even though like, he's only 20 years old, his yeah. footwork is, his footwork is A1 for a fucking yeah. 20 year old. Like, excellent footwork. Really, like, at times I felt like I was watching a young pretty boy Floyd. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, I mean, I don't know about all that. Everybody keeps saying that shit. I, I don't know. I just don't see it. But because I mean, yeah, because Floyd, Floyd, Pretty Boy Floyd was a little bit more athletically gifted. I'm not saying that Devin's yeah. not. Yeah, but Floyd was almost nearing the freakish and levels. The jab was better, sharper, like up and down. Like yeah, Floyd was Floyd was fast and and like and, Haney seems more like a textbook Floyd, like a textbook Pretty Boy. Right, you know, I mean, or money made. Pretty much, he's, he's a money yeah. made fighter. Well, no, he, he's not. He's like not, a, more he's not like a prime money made, athletic version of money made. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no, he's. he's, he's I'm, I'm not saying he's as good as Pretty Boy Floyd, but I'm saying like he looks like he's employed that like, like, like he. Oh no, not as good. I thought like, you said like the way he looks, like the way he throws the punches and shit. Yeah. But he throws com- and he throws combinations too. So I can't even like say oh like a like a, a prime textbook money Mayweather because prime textbook money Mayweather Mayweather pot shot is most of the time. Oh, he would throw two punches. No, yeah. I know, I know, but he did he did too many pot shots in my life. Yeah. He was still great, but I missed the pretty boy Floyd combination. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Floyd never. I mean, the pretty boy and the money made, like a hybrid, a bit hybrid of that, never really came to fruition. In any nah, the best, the best we saw, I think of that is Floyd at one forty, right? Against Gotti, you know, boy, you know. So. And Chop Chop, that Chop Chop fight was lit. No, no, Chop Chop like still tagged his ass. Fight. Yeah, but no, Chop Chop still tagged his ass in that fight though. 
Yeah, but man, Floyd dropped his ass like 15 times. The blind <laughs> ass Benny Estevez couldn't damn count. The, he couldn't see them shits. Mm-hmm. Has there ever been anybody ever been a fight where somebody gets dropped that many times and he only gets counted for like two? <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> and I heard some of those saying like, damn, Benny Estevez is a good referee. Like, nigga, he always missing fucking knockdowns. <laughs> then he, he missed the uh, Alexander and uh, Madonna uh, knockdown too. Yeah, yeah, he did. God damn. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Yeah, no, no, no problem. It's all good, you know. Cause like I say, you know, it's good for the listeners. You know, it's always good, you know. You know, just like I say, you know, boxing has a, you know, has a history, you know. So yeah. I, I ain't saying he's the worst referee. I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't put him on the best list or, you know, yeah, all right, but he always missing some damn knockdowns, man. But yeah, yeah. yeah check out that that Mayweather Chop Chop fight if y'all ain't never seen that shit. Yeah, right. Great fucking and, fight. And then also, you, you know, you can also while you're doing it, check out the, the Abdullah fight. Like I said, I mean, Devin Haney is, you know, we say he's he's he, he's the goods, he's a talent, and everything like that. And then hopefully, maybe the next fight will be something significant, uh, like a Lomachenko fight, you know. And Elf, yeah, if fuck not, it, make that fight, <laughs> shit. Or if not, like try to find, like you know, like I said, they, Haney now just needs a res- good, respected, respected win at 135. You know, like yeah, I won't fight that dude that Lopez for that tall Japanese cat. That would actually be a good ass fight, for real. If if he looks better than Lopez, that's saying something, man. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I mean, you definitely. I mean, not getting plus two because I mean, you know, we can't allow Haney to get like sluggish in the ring because he's not being challenged. Because you know, that's uh, yeah. the fourth thing. Leo Santa happened. Cruz. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no Spoiling on the vine. Well, I think I think that I think that shit is done. You think he? I think he's well past being right. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm saying this was this was like before the Frampton fight, like when we was when he was looking bad on the damn May Pack card. We're like, damn, yeah. like get this nigga a big fight already before he looks. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, like Haney, Haney on point. Like to me, he's improved. I love this version of Haney now. Like I feel like he's almost complete. <laughs> yeah, because now because now he's realizing that man, my I have man strength. Let me use it to knock some people out. You know, and that's what he's yeah, doing. Not moving around, letting guys recover. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm he surprised he's pressure. still able. I'm surprised he's still able to make 135 because he's fucking big for that weight. Yeah. Yeah. Solid, so, solid as hell for that shit. Yeah. So yeah, like, sooner or later, that because eventually he'll move up to 140. That's why it's like we need to get him a significant fight at 135 sooner or later. He'll be, he'll yeah. Be, that, that's why he won't Lomachenko. Yeah. Look, this, this is the thing. <laughs> It's going to come down to it, man. <clears throat> I'm going to be real because I'm a Lomachenko fan. But Lomachenko going to have to fight one of these young guns. One of these young urban ass fighters. One of these young dudes. He's got, he has to fight one of them. One of these guys out of, out of Tank, Haney, Lopez. He got to fight one of them. Even if, even, if Lopez, even if Lopez loses to Kami, he, he still got to fight one of them. Like, he, he got to fight Haney or, or, or Tank. Because the thing is, these guys, in their physical prime, they bigger. They're naturally bigger. They stay in that lightweight for now, but we only know it's, it's, it's a matter of time for they got to go up. Exactly. So I, you don't want to have I, Lomachenko's best opponents, biggest names, the best opponents, all eventually leave and he's stuck fighting some, you know, B listers. I don't want any more crawler fights. I, I think it's gonna be Tank. I, 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 I think him and Tank are gonna fight. And we might have to wait till 2022. <laughs> I can't wait on that, man. I, give me Haney, Kami, uh, Lopez winner, and I, I'm good for next year. Like, that, that's a good, nah, that's, that's a good list. Nah, I think, I think we're gonna get, I think we're gonna get it soon because just from the, the way, from what I've been listening to hear him, like, how he's been talking, I feel like Floyd already thinks that fucking, and, like, they already think that Lomachenko's already, like, on the slot. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we see that next year. Or maybe late next year. But, who knows? Yeah, I mean, I mean we'll see. I, I like to see, you know. I don't think the fight's gonna get any bigger, because... 
Tank gonna ain't gonna fight any better opponents, and you may as well just throw him in there with Lomachenko. Right, exactly. He has the worst set of opponents resume out of anybody else right now. Yeah. I know we keep going on the Pedraza fight, but <clears throat> that's Pedraza, like that's it. Facts. <laughs> like, how many more times are people gonna woo? Yo, y'all, y'all sounding like that dude in the barber shop that coming to America. <laughs> he fought Pedraza. Like, yeah, yeah, we know. <laughs> like a million other fucking lightweights out there. Shit. Exactly. And we need, and we need to get Haney in the mix with, with some of them. You know, at least. Before, you know, before he goes up to 140. So, yeah, he uh, can't live off. He can't. Uh, Tank can't live off that Pedraza fight forever. Facts. Uh, had a chance to live off a fucking farmer fight, but he ain't want the zone money. So, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Farmer's kind of farmer's kind of being a clown himself, and I like farmer, but he's kind of acting like a clown. clown. One clown dodged. Tw- one clown ducked two million. Another clown ducked five million. Mm-hmm. That's two fucking clowns to me. <laughs> yeah. It just, it just looked worse on Farmer because he's he's the name that's not his biggest tank. Right. And 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 even if, if I were even if I were to give Farmer the benefit of the doubt, which I tried, the way he's like moving when it comes to fucking Jojo Diaz, like yeah, I that's, can't, that's I, a bad I, look too. You're right. That's yeah, it, that's but, ultimate yeah. clown shit. Yeah, because he, he was pressed to actually fight him, and then it was just like, and then of course, top of that, that you know, he felt that you know he fulfilled his the zone deal, so basically he could have made the fight. And usually, I'm 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 a strict like you know, if you're if you're under a deal for a promotional outlet, okay, fine. But if you're not, that means you can fight wherever you want. Yeah, Wild, Wilder. Yeah. Uh huh, Wilder. <laughs> For y'all yeah. in the back, y'all, y'all don't forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, you know, we got, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, uh, that's another situation. You know, that doesn't seem to have uh, any type of, uh, you know, a, a solution for that to actually fit, rectify the situation. And so we're just hoping that Haney doesn't, you know, fall victim to anything like that. You know, so, uh, but yeah, you know, overall, that car was, like, it was entertaining to watch. It was very, it was very entertaining to watch, and uh, yeah, don't, I don't regret that one bit. I kind of regret though the Golden Boy card a little bit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they were they really yeah, needed I mean, that Ryan Garcia fight. They really yeah. did. Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, there were yeah, there, there were some, there were some entertaining fades on there. And there's no, in, you know, in the you know the so, women's the, the the women's boxing match was a was a damn stole the show again. Yeah, it did. <laughs> although I found it a little, doing bombs all night. <laughs> although I found it, I still found it a little sloppy though. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, it was sloppier. It was don't get me wrong. It was it wasn't like the Hardy Serrano where. Yeah, you saw the skill level from both fighters, even though one was on another level. Mm-hmm. With this, you saw both. You saw more the limitations, but you you saw like the guts, cause, and I thought you saw like bigger punches too. They was like super middleweight, so yeah, they were super middleweight. They was landing some 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 head snapping <laughs> shots. Yeah, they were eating the counters. Like I was like, God damn. <laughs> Yeah, I mean they, they put they put in some work in there, you know, and I, and I dug that the winner uh, Dejern or whatever, like literally like this pretty much went off, you know, you know she was a good she was a good interview too. I was like, yeah, she, like she'll probably fit in at some point, you know, we'll just, you know, I know there's not a whole lot of super middleweight women that are fighting, but uh, I'm pretty sure that like, she definitely has a place at some point, you know, for her. Uh, yeah, because it, it was a rematch and, and she. She won. She won this time. They, even though they kind of had that draw in that first fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this one, I think, was a last-minute replacement. So, but for that, like three-day notice type shit. Yeah, that was a pretty good fight. But yeah, it was a little sloppy at times. But you know, it was still enough landed bombs where I could overlook it. Facts. Shit, Kuzman and Michael Hunter was looking sloppy too. Shit. Also facts. 
know. But um, and then yeah, like I said, I mean, it was an entertaining scrap for what it was. And then the main event, the main event, unfortunately, we were well, obviously we were. I was kind of hoping that it would turn to something a little. Uh, it'd be the fuckery fight, you know, since you know Magia had a rough time his last time out, you know, with Dennis Hogan. And we're, we're hoping for that. And for a minute, I thought we were going to get that. Because in the first yeah. couple of rounds... Actually, six minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The first two rounds, uh, a, a Lodi was damn... Um, well, Snap was... Boxing was Magia's ass up. Yeah, you know, like it, it, like it was straight up boxing, like clean shots, clean... Let it some hard overhand rights. Yeah, but like... like, the, like he was had, like low-key buzzing Magia. Yeah, but had the Ike Corte jab going. Like, he was snapping his head back with some jabs, too. I was like, okay. And then we're in the... Course, we're all, ropes. <laughs> but then, of course, we were all wondering, you know, when was the when was the other shoe going to drop? Because is, you know, my gift going to level up like he usually does? The answer was... The DLC yeah. pack. <laughs> and then that weight bully DLC pack for five ninety nine on PlayStation Plus. <laughs> Soon as that shit was finished downloading... I mean, they ain't had dial-up, but they ain't have no <laughs> damn files. <laughs> so it took like three rounds, but once it downloaded, Mungia just ran over, dude. Yeah, exactly. And I was just like, damn. And then, you know, I got to the point where a lot of I mean, and is, a lot of wasn't even, like, it wasn't verbal with the ref. I'm like, the ref is telling you something. Like, you got to answer. You can't just be saying they're not answering, else the nigga's going to stop the fight. You know what I mean? Beat so, the voice out that nigga. Yeah. You know, they finally think his corner, uh, let his corner finally stopped it after, was it two or three knockdowns? Something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, there's no it's, reason it's, that this man take no punishment. Like, he was brought in there because he he wasn't durable enough. Right. Like, a, a, a Wale Omotoso would have been a better fight. Right. And yeah. almost and maybe an upset. Shit. Facts. <laughs> You know, but um, yeah, but I think that fight also that that fight with um, yeah, that fight probably convinced him a lot to or not uh, not a lot to but yeah, that he uh, he may he's having second thoughts about staying at, at going to one sixty because a lot was still tagging his ass. So imagine if a one sixty pounder was tagging him. Oh, on his, oh, yeah. hell no! Like, like, like the thing with Mungia is once again this fight it confirms for anybody that didn't realize it already. If Mungia can't outmuscle you, he has literally nothing for you. Like he can't do anything else but just basically outmuscle you. So I mean, imagine he, he goes punching power. I mean, it, yeah, he has like punching power, but, but I don't know. I feel like he just basically like everybody talks about her just being a bully. Like Mungia, they his whole style is basically just bully <laughs> style and just outmuscle you. And he yeah. has nothing else. Back. He has like nothing Back. else for you. So now imagine he's if he goes up bully to world class fighters though. Yeah. Now yeah. imagine imagine Mungia going up to one sixty where people actually are heavier than him, way or or, or at least his size or bigger, he's not gonna be able to outmuscle them. So he has like he's gonna be terrible at one sixty. Mm-hmm. You got to match him up more careful than more carefully than they do now. Like they only match him up carefully. God damn it! I said more carefully. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, shit, we gonna be calling your ass up to fight him soon. Look at this shit. <laughs> sure, I'll take the paycheck. I'll fucking fight him. <laughs> shit, shit, me, me and PJ work the corner. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> R- R- Rome could damn do the uh, the song rap rap you out to the ring, you know. Pat Scorpio out there doing doing promote promoter and managerial duties and shit. Get you ready. <laughs> shit, shit. Um, we already, yeah. already see the monkey a game plan. Yeah, P- turn them, be, jab, be, turn be my trainer. Punches. Be my trainer, and LB, you could be my cup man. <laughs> <laughs> Like, um, oh man, like damn. Yeah, yeah, Mungia, like the, even with having Eric Morales in his corner, he didn't, I mean, he didn't really see too much of an improvement. I mean, obviously you have to give a couple of fights because you never know with some of these fighters and when they get new trainers and how long it takes for them to implement what they're talking about. Yeah, uh, man, but implement it then. All I seen was the damn, uh, the way Bully DLC. Like, I didn't see nothing else. I didn't, I didn't really see no other skill. Like, he looked the same, you know, when he get the weight bullying going. Yeah. Like, think about it. Like, 
Would you like? Would you pick him to beat Cora Bove? <laughs> no. Would you pick him to beat Aleem, who made a draw against Cora Bove? Probably not. No. no. Probably. <laughs> you just thought about it, like, hmm, yeah. Brandon Adams. Would you pick Brandon? Would you pick Mungia to beat Brandon Adams? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, so I mean, you know, why, why they never made Trout and Mungia? Good question. I don't need to see that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shout out to shout out to Morales though for being in the corner, but yeah, <laughs> I wasn't gonna do nothing for. Him. Like, I, I I didn't think Morales would be able to help him in any way. Like, the no, no, just, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and Morales struck me as one of those guys anyway that. Great fighter, but great fighters don't always make great training. Uh, Definitely yeah, just look at, uh, just look at. Unfortunately, God rest his soul, the late great Pernell Whitaker. Great fighter, but as a trainer, and sorry, I don't know, man. <laughs> I always remember that Eddie Chambers fight with Calvin Brock. <laughs> <laughs> You could be yo, you could be training your ass. You could be training your ass off, but the motherfucker don't listen to you. I mean, <laughs> people still gonna blame the trainer. So <laughs> I don't know, man. I think we needed more research for Sweet P as far. I as mean, I mean, I mean, we saw. Do, we, do, didn't we see him train Zab Judah? And yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he did. I mean, he did train Zab Judah. Zab Judah to his last title. I mean, so I mean, he can't. I, True, true. Yeah, but I um, mean, yeah, no, my gear. I mean, yeah. it wasn't no prom Zab. I mean, Verdict <laughs> is out on Zab now, man. Like, yeah, I'm more like a publicity coaching thing. Yeah, you know, but at least my gear, though. I mean, my gear. I mean, even for as far as I mean, he's still an entertaining fighter. So, but like the blueprint is out, like uh, to actually beat him. Just it's just gonna be a matter of who will beat him eventually. Yeah, it's, it's been out. Yeah. You know, and we were starting I to hear it in the, 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 the beefy fight. Yeah. He looked like, eh? Yeah. Well, beefy think, tough, I, but I don't know. <laughs> and, and, to think, and to think people said Golovkin ducked this kid. <laughs> well, remember, they had stopped the fight. Like, they didn't, they, they said uh, Mungia wasn't, um, didn't have enough experience. Right. Yeah, I know, but there were people that were saying that. So I, I who, who was that. saying this? Like <laughs> people were saying that. I I was reading that shit. I'm like, are you serious? Like I don't know. People just like talk out there, out the side of their head. So oh man, like matter of fact, if, if Golovkin would have fought this kid, like we wouldn't even have all these damn meaningless title defenses right now at 154. <laughs> All these, all these paydays that these kids are getting right now. All these, all these jobber paydays these dudes are getting from around the world. You know, the Africans, uh, the Irish, the Japanese, um, the whole world really. Um, none of that would exist right now. So I mean, can, I mean, Golovkin did something good this time. <laughs> <laughs> Spare the kid. <laughs> he spared the kid so 154 could eat. Exactly. Now, but now if Mungia moves up to 160, it's like, how many times you gonna walk him past the Lions then? Right. Before he actually, before he finds a hungry, malnourished lion, not even just a prime hungry lion, but one who's really, really need to eat. You know, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I mean, you, you I mean, got too many people up there. Like, there's, give them there's, Andre, there's, give, give them Charlie. There's a lion. There's, there's a lion. There's a lion at one sixty. Yeah, there's several lions. Several. Yeah. I, I mean, Man, I, one I really needs a fight, though. I was referring to Charlo. Yeah, yeah, ex- exactly. That that that's the <laughs> hungriest lion, the starving lion, <laughs> <laughs> the biggest one, but can't get yeah. no food. My man needs to get fed. Exactly, and you know, Mungia. He need a career boost because it's like it should ain't been the same since that night his brother got robbed. <laughs> like their he names just the been like down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their names are like mud now. It's and you know, it's kind of, it's kind. Of, I won't say it's kind of sad, but you know, it's 
you know, they, they were they were on highs and then now they're just on lows. Like no, they, you know, I think they even lost their buzz too, which is kind of crazy. They have like the only person with no with, with a buzz smaller than them, the Charlos got to be Leo Santa Cruz. Right. Who? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who? Like re- really? Who? Like. Yeah, even Kel Brook got a bigger buzz. Like, let me see. <laughs> Khan got a bigger buzz. Damn, Chisora, like everybody got a bigger buzz. Gamboa, <laughs> Regan Dio. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, yeah. yeah it's a, it's a kind of saying that we you know that some of these cats are like milk carton status right now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, let me see. Crawford status kind of low right now this year. Yeah, for the time being, at least. Nah, nah, for this year. Yeah. Ain't no time being. Time being is like a month or two. <laughs> you can't have, you can't fight American and then, you know, keyboard smash. And, <laughs> you know, it's like, well, you know, for the time being. Nah, not when I got to hear you pound for pound number one. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. But, yeah, I'm like, yeah. You know, yeah, like I said, I mean, hopefully they step him up and step him up soon. He will borrow time. Yeah, he's got very borrowed time before, you know, an upset, an upset occurs where it kind of ruins his momentum. I mean, he already had an upset to me. It just, you know, the judges didn't see it. <laughs> facts. <laughs> yeah, Ho- Hogan deserved that fucking fight. I don't care. Nobody say. <laughs> that was a ups- that was a damn robbery of the year. And in the, in the real upset of the year before the damn herd fight. <laughs> Also facts, <laughs> you know. Oh, damn, so Mungia need to get his shit together. Like, I ain't never seen someone maneuver on a mi- minefield as good as this kid ever. <laughs> God damn, like he at one fifty four, ain't fight a, ain't sniffed a Charlo or Herd or a Trout or, or yeah, a, no. a Lara and a Castano, Soro, nobody. Only a little bit. So, damn, like. <laughs> Even Canelo ain't dodged all them names. <laughs> I mean, he picking two, but damn, he got some of them. Like, like man, like come on, Mungia, like what what it do, bro? Like, you know, one sixty. <laughs> Go to one sixty, or you're two, or stay at one fifty four and do what you're doing, man. It's just like, yeah, you gotta make up your mind. <laughs> You know, but um, yeah, that card itself, I mean, like I said, it was okay. Like the fades, the prelims were good to entertain the watch. Nothing really, anything really stood out on that aspect. But uh, yeah, the card was kind of missing Ryan Garcia. There. That's what a lot of people wanted to see. But uh, and this fight had was kind of a upset in my mind, you know, going on. But uh, but unfortunately, he had some issues going on and. It like one extra good fight. The card needed his ass, man. Golden Boy paid that kid his money. Yeah, exactly. 